Hi guys, Pierce here with a new creation. Here I have the new 5 inch 38 caliber gun of the US Navy during World War II. Now 5 inch 38 caliber refers to the dimensions of the gun. So 5 inch will refer to the diameter of the barrel and the 38 refers to the length of the gun. But to calculate the length of the gun, multiply 5 inches times 38 which would give you 190 inches. So that's the length of the gun. Um, so why did I choose this type of gun for this type of naval mount? Um, from what a lot of people were saying in the naval historian community, a 5 inch gun mount has the right balance for uh, anti-aircraft and anti-surface uh, warships. So it's, it's a great dual purpose weapon. So like, uh, if you see ships like uh, Bismarck and their 6 inch secondaries, uh, they probably have a much heavier shell with, uh, that can do a lot more damage against surface ships. Uh, but the heavier shell would probably result in a lower rate of fire. So if you need to lay down a curtain of lead against a group of enemy aircraft coming quickly at you, you would have a lot a lot harder time trying to to lay down as much firepower like rate of fire amount of lead continuously on target uh, whereas you have a lighter whereas lighter um, caliber guns like three inch mounts would um, have a smaller uh, explosive charge which probably means um, less damage against ships and they probably take a bit longer to take down aircraft but they have a much higher rate of fire and Here's the 5 inch mount with a uh, good balance between both. So that is why I like to uh, create these mounts and I guess th and they're also very iconic and I really like that of them. So here I have the single mount. It has it has full 360 degree turn. Um, it has a decent amount of elevation for anti-aircraft work and depression against uh, ships that that are starting to get close to the destroyer. Oh yeah, the single mount is uh, more commonly known for being used on destroyers or maybe a secondary mount on a cruiser. Um, moving on here, we come to some attachments I have designed into this turret. So uh, for sleeker turret designs, you can just take this attachment off. Uh, this attachment here I'm not exactly sure. I've seen this on other U.S. Navy destroyers of World War II. I can't really tell. It, I think it could either be lights or part of the ventilation of the turret. Uh, but if anyone knows, I'd be happy to hear what it actually is. Uh, on the sides, I have panels. So right now, I have some some plates on the side just to give it a very smooth look. But um, you can take them off and replace them with uh, tiles here. Or I just I just. Uh, and to change the words, but you can you can earn into learn a, you could put a plate onto here, which gives you the ability to uh, attach uh, life lifeboats of your own design, life rafts, uh, or ladders to add more details to the uh, turret. Now, if you want more firepower, uh, I have designed a dual turret. Now, this is more commonly seen on secondaries of U.S. battleships. Uh, U.S. cruisers and uh, U.S. aircraft carriers. Um, this gun has a great amount of elevation and a great amount of depression. Uh, again, full 360 degree capability. Um, it also has these little attachments here. I, again, I'm not actually. I, I have a very difficult time trying to figure out what these are. Uh, I'm gonna just guess that they're range finders. Um, and yeah, this is a really nice design. I really like to use these uh, these pieces over here. Uh, these these sort of bar type pieces. I'm not exactly sure what to call them. They're able to uh, get this uh, this conical, this light conical effect for the barrel, and I'm able to attach this Technic piece to create a uh, gun barrel, which I find really nice. Uh, unfortunately, I only have the brown. Type, uh, I only have the brown versions of this brick so if so if you have um, gray bricks this would work a lot better but I guess you can kind of cheat by like painting these barrels a different color but yeah these are 
the gun mounts. Um, I have one more cool thing you can do with them. Now, currently, I do not have any warships under construction, but I do have a lot of tanks. And if you know tanks like KV-2 with their big fat derp guns, you'd probably figure out what I would do next. So here I have a Churchill from Brickmania. Uh, this is not a crocodile, this is just modified just to be a, a gun tank with, uh, with a machine gun. It, is, it, it here has a uh, decent armament, two machine guns, small little six pounder rapid fire gun. Uh, we'll just take off the turret here. Let's get our single mount, and I uh, just imagine this this uh, modifying the tank to just equip a five inch gun. <laughs> so um, yeah, you you'd pretty much give the tank a big fat gun, derp guns, just trying to create a KV two wannabe. Um, the tank would probably have some stability issues. Uh, Full 360 degree capability, yes. Uh, <laughs> you know the KV2 actually. Um, th I think it was so top heavy, or so the turret was so large that um, the turret would actually get into some mechanical issues, or there's a problem. There's an issue of uh, almost tipping over if the turret was on its side, like on its side, maybe on a hill, or uh, or um, and the gun might jam. Maybe the maybe the the, the turret uh, the the things underneath holding the turret together would uh, would break when the when the gun is firing not in the front position, but um just to put a big fat naval gun on a tank is awesome. Uh, I don't know the result of the abomination of putting the twin mount onto the Churchill tank, but I guess that's double KV two for you. Um, but yeah, this is uh, something great to do. Um, Put it on your new warships or put it on your tank. Uh, they're both awesome. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. See you later.